An area which once harbored outlaw Rob Roy McGregor is at the heart of a new gold rush, finds Sandra Dick. Stung by debt and pursued by authorities, it was to the rolling hills between Killin and Kenmore that one of Scotland's best-known outlaws, Rob Roy McGregor, would retreat to hide and plot his next move. But had the 18th-century cattle rustler come folk hero had the remotest inkling of the potential fortune that lay beneath his feet, history could have taken a rather different turn. For the rolling hills to the south side of Loch Tay, land which once harbored the so-called Highland Rogue and now popular among walkers tackling the Rob Roy Way, have now been identified as the nation's latest gold hotspot. Leading investor, Eris Resources, a European-focused mineral consulting and exploration company, has signed an option to buy 80% of a gold and associated base metals exploration project that will allow it to search a 91.5 square miles site in the area between Kenmore and Killin in Perthshire, within what's been called the Grampian Gold Belt. The deal with Greenor comes after a 10-gram gold nugget was found in the Glen Armand River within the exploration area by a team from University of Leeds, and the discovery of 77 fine grains of gold during a panning project further downstream. The investment will see attention focus on the Glen Almond site southeast of the Koyabuga Silver Mine, a significant historic mine where up to 18 veins were once worked for high-grade silver, and at the village of Artelnig, where lead workings are said to have shown the rock has good prospects for gold, silver and zinc. Overall, the area is said to have excellent gold potential. The Loch Tay project is the latest area to become part of a gold rush in the central Belt Hills. It is 25 miles from Scott Gold's site at Connanish near Tyndrum which is preparing to begin full-scale mining operations at what will be Scotland's first commercial gold mine. Earlier this year Scott Gold also revealed soil samples from the hills of Glen Fine close to the village of Kendow had revealed exciting, new and potentially significant results, with gold showing signs of being three times better than anticipated, and the silver almost twice as good. That area which is said to be around two miles long, has been placed as a high priority for further sampling with a view to eventually extracting the gold and silver reserves. The mine at Conanish produced gold for the first time in August 2016 following the launch of an ore processing trial. Scott Gold Resources has plans to reopen an old mine shaft and extract more than half a million tons of mineral ore, along with up to 170,000 tons of rock. Work will see a 300 meters tunnel dug as part of the initial exploration of the area expanded to stretch 1,000 meters deep into the hills. For more on this story, visit the news article link.